Hello everyone, and welcome back to DMG. Not quite the style of video I normally do, or not the device I normally do videos on, but I am curious about the construction of three different calculators today. These are your pretty standard calculators that'll get you through, you know, elementary school, grade school, you know, middle school and early high school for these two on the right. Of course, this is a very basic one, but these are, uh, you know, slightly more advanced. If you look at these two, the layout of the buttons is almost identical. So I want to see if they're using the same board. I imagine they're using pretty much the same board, just a slightly different ROM. And also, out of all the things to disassemble, calculators aren't that hard. Let's start with this small one. The TI-30X, whatever it's called. You know, very basic. Has a one-line display. All of these are very simple. The two larger ones just have six screws on the sides, and this one only has four. Presumably because it's supposed to be easy to change the batteries in one of these. I've never actually disassembled a calculator before. Alright, let's try and not get cut. Oh, okay, so yeah, plastic snaps. Oh, well there's our battery. Beep. Uh, oh, how does that go in? Oh, please short the reset pad after changing battery. It's silk screened on the board there. Also, sorry if you can hear the sound of hard drives in the background. That's what my room usually sounds like. So yeah, you've got your battery. That one's marked as battery plus, so it would fit in like that. Let's test that before we put it back together. Yeah, okay, it works. Yeah, it works fine. I didn't break it. How do you turn this off? Oh, the button that says off. So, of course, there's your chip. There's your screen. Really basic. Um... There's more space up here, so there was probably a calculator in the same chassis that either had a, a two-line display or solar panel, because that's just a waste of space. But yeah, you know, it's your, your typical r rather basic calculator chip. We don't have to see the chip itself to determine if the board layout is the same for these. I'll just keep the screws in the lid. Uh, I think next I'm actually going to tackle this one. So this is the TI-34 Multi-View. Uh, you've got a multi-line display that displays the last four things you type. And uh, it also has a button that says Simp. So it's the the Twitch calculator. To be very honest, I have never heard of anyone changing the battery in one of these calculators. Like, I have never seen one of these die. I've also never seen one of these break. You know, these TI calculators literally last forever. Like the Nokia phones of, of calculators. Alright, same as the last one. I'll just bend it at the sides this time. Okay, now, so the snaps aren't on the corners, so bending it at the sides is just going to break the screen, which is really not what I want, because uh, for things that don't need graphing, this, you know, I, I actually use this. Where are the snaps in this? Oh, there they are. So there's one right there. And I'd assume... The next is there, there, and there. Ooh, slightly different build this time, and we have some actual wires here. 
An LED. That's interesting because that's not visible. Is that? No, uh, that's, what is that LED for? It's not visible from the outside. It's not a backlight because, well, there is no backlight. And, you know, it's not visible through the board. Is that just for, like, debugging or troubleshooting or something? Or, I've actually seen this done. You know, occasionally buying an LED is cheaper than getting a diode with certain specs. So that LED could literally just, you know, it could just be used as a regular diode. Also, on the back here, here is your membrane switch for the uh, reset right there. Also, this uses a larger battery. That's what most CMOS batteries are going to be. Uh, CR2032 is what that is called. A similar looking chip, but of course our display has a lot more contacts. Got stuff for the, the solar panel right here. And then, oh, there's a separate board for the display. Okay, that's interesting. No, yeah, so this is just keypad and power. So the power goes from the keypad board into the main processing board from there and gets combined with the solar panel there. Perhaps the LED is so that power doesn't flow backwards into the solar panel because that's what diodes are literally used for. Oh, hey, I accidentally turned it on. Yeah, it works. I mean... And yeah, that, that LED is not lit. Let's see if... let's simp. Oh, can't simp, I suppose. No simping here. Yeah, okay, that's interesting. I would have expected it to actually be cheaper to make one board rather than two. But no, that's what they did. They, they put it on two boards. I'm going to put all the screws for this one back with it. Alright, here we go. The TI-30X2S. The calculator that you will find in basically every middle school math classroom. Like, if your school did not have a drawer full of these, I'm sorry, you did not have a childhood. Well, I don't think I had a childhood either because I'm sitting here t uh, talking about calculators to an audience of, like, eight subscribers. I know it's more than that. But still... Alright, let's see. Yeah, this one is built more like this. This one is actually... When it comes to size, these two are more similar than these two. And when it comes to overall build, I actually wouldn't be... I would not be surprised if these two are more alike. Although this one does say it takes a 20... Oh, CR2025. Which is this a CR2025? LR44. Uh, I think that is a 2025. Next year was so popular they made it into a battery. Wow. That's awesome. Oh. That's interesting. I'm sorry, the snaps on this are so powerful. Like, they are just held together... God damn, this calculator is built different. It just will not come apart. I don't want to snap it in half. Because that would be a shame. There we go. Interesting. So you have even more LEDs that don't light up on this one. I'm going to get all three in view here. So you have a display and board separation more similar to this one. But the battery, they've improved the design. The battery is on the board that actually needs the power. But on this one, honestly, there's not a place you could have fit it. Uh, more LEDs. 
your solar panel negative and positive come in there. That's where the keypad connects. That's of course your little CPU. And from the size of the CPU, actually this one looks like it's smaller than either of these. Your keypad traces look most similar to this one. And what are these little gold pads? They're not labeled here, but they are here. Let me take a closer look. Okay, they're just labeled PD0 through 5 and PA0 through 2. And then TPRST, I assume that is a reset contact. But there's also another reset contact there. And also it looks like someone spilled flux around the battery. Or maybe that's just battery acid. Also a CR2025, I forgot. It's like a CR2032, but like two-thirds the height. So it's not this size, it's that size, but slightly less tall. Yeah, that's interesting. I actually expected these two to be a lot more similar. You know, just for fun, I'm curious now. I'm intrigued. Let's, let's, let's tear down this Casio, because why not? I'm going to be real honest. I have absolutely no clue how to use Casio calculators. Like, their, their user interface makes absolutely no damn sense. Like, if I took the time to learn, yeah, I, I would be able to use it, but I was raised as a TI kid. Don't ask why I have so many calculators. I use each one for different things, and I just gathered them from around my... I was gonna say house, I don't live in a house. From around my very small room, and workspace, and school bag. Let's see. Ooh, it's curved. It's, I don't... I'm not good with curve. There we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> We've got a spicy pillow in here. Check out that battery. <laughs> it's getting a bit thick. It's getting a bit thick. Yeah, that is... That's a really puffed up battery. Um, single board. Display has got a, a metal back. That's very fancy. Um, your solar panel power is there. And this... Yeah, this is... What? No, this is positive. Both of the positive wires come in here. Then the blue one is solar panel negative and black one is battery negative. I've actually never tried. So theoretically, especially because of this one's design, I should... Oh. Suppose not. Oh, it's just... It just, it just wasn't getting enough light. Um, yeah. Look, the, the display updates really slowly. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, so that drew too much power. So yeah, um, you know, if, if you were in a better solared area, this would of course work better. But, because there is very little sunlight in my room, it's not very effective currently. You have a tiny, tiny capacitor here. Uh, your solar panel's actually made by Sanyo. And, uh, yeah, this is built pretty different from the TIs. It's built different. Well, um, these are gonna take, like, 20 minutes to put back together, and I will spare you that. However, I'm not going to end the video without a nice shot of all of them lined up here. The boys. The... well, actually I'm going to refer to these calculators as gender neutral because that's kind of weird. Uh, the calculators, yeah. Ranging from most to, to least usable. <laughs> um, yeah. 
Okay, also, an interesting thing with the Casio. So, inside of its back panel, there's this big thing, which happens to be the size, approximately, of an LR 2032, 2025, any of those. So, on another model, I assume there either was the the battery here. Also, it that thing does fit over the CPU, so that could just be to accommodate the CPU, but I don't understand why they'd have to put a, a ring around it. Uh, that's, of course, to provide display support, you know, so that it doesn't just fall back into the case, and that's for the solar panel. Uh, and then, on the back of this TI one, you've got a nice little maze here. Uh, the basic TI one has nothing in the back. And this one, the other TI actually has, this one, has a spot for the CPU, just like the Casio does. So, yeah, I do believe that for some reason, maybe it's providing support for it. Well, actually, that's also the side with the board on it. So that could be preventing the screen and board from, like, falling back into the case. Anyway, um, no one actually cares. <laughs> But that's it for this video. Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, I was genuinely curious about how these different calculators were built. See you next time.